I have these little OLED screens in my toolbox for a while now and I've been meaning to figure out how to use them. Uh, today I'm feeling especially motivated so there's no better time than today to get started. The first order of business is to just get anything on the screen. So here I am pulling out the sample code that came with the OLED screen. Hooked it up to my Arduino and sure enough it works quite well. And you can see here it can draw triangles and shapes and whatnot. The next step was for me to try to get a movement, some kind of animation on the screen. So here's a basic animation code that I have using a very crude physics engine that would just bounce around an object around the wall. So let's see how that works. So here's where I found my disappointment. The refresh rate on these LCD through an Arduino is very slow because I found that the SPI through Arduino is actually pretty slow. A quick Google search tells me that we have about 16 megahertz to work with with our SPI bus. And this is the result of that. That tells me that it's not enough since relative to something like an SPI bus on a Raspberry Pi, which is about ABP clock speed of 250 megahertz, this is no comparison. So we're gonna have to be very clever with the way we do our animations. We can't do the usual fill the screen and then put the pieces back in place because that's not gonna work. So here's what we're gonna do as a plan. We're gonna take that circle, then we're gonna find that spot and only paint over that spot with the background color and then move it and paint the circle somewhere else. This reduces the amount of work that we need to do for the animation because we don't have to fill the screen and redraw everything. We would only be drawing and erasing in specific spots that needs to be drawn and erased. So yeah, this is much better. It's still flickering, but it's much more reasonable. Great, so now my next step then is to add a button as well as gravity so then the bird falls and it can fly with the press of the button. So the button works and I can press it and the bird falls. Over here the way I'm capturing what to fill in is a little buggy. That's why you can see traces of the bird uh, in the bottom there because it's not filling in the right spots. But that just has to do with my code though and after some debugging I was able to clean it up a little bit more. Okay, so then the next step here then is to add the pipes. And that shifts a rectangle on the bottom and the top and they just move to the left. So, so again, we're hitting the refresh rate and the, which causes the rectangle to be very flickery. And so we're gonna have to do another clever trick to animate that to the left. If we think about the pipes moving to the left, we really only need to remove the item behind it and add the new one in front of it. You know, so what you can see here in this image, I'm removing the one in red, so that thing in the back gets removed and drawn with the background color. And then the one in green here is the thing that gets added with the pipe color. So then it'll look like it's moving to the left. So here it is. You can see that the pipes are much more smooth. The lines that you see are due to the camera, but in reality, when you're looking at this live, you don't see those lines. It's just smooth rectangle. Awesome, so now it's time to wrap it up. And I'm just gonna fast forward here as 
This is pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of programming and debugging. We're just gonna add all the states that would get us a game over state, keep score, and a pipes on the top that would move to the left as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's implied that there's collision detection that would give us those game over states. All right, let's see the final product. Thank you.